It was my goal, my dream to open up a gourmet grilled cheese restaurant with as many craft beers as humanly possible. And we fortunately achieved that goal. Sourcing the, the best local ingredients, producing the best, biggest, and boldest flavors, and these big, massive, awesome grilled cheese sandwiches. You know, beer and bread are first cousins. Where does it start? It starts with the bread. So we've always used local bakeries. We used two in Cleveland, and then we moved on to a bigger and better bakery in Pittsburgh called Mediterra Bakehouse. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mediterra Bakehouse. I'm Matt Fish, owner founder of Melt Bar and Grilled. I'm here with two of my favorite people on earth, Mr. Andrew and Mr. Mike. These guys are instrumental in making our bread, which is the cornerstone, the foundation of every single thing that we do at Melt. Without Mediterra, without our bread, we are honestly nothing. What got us to today was my father's background in, in importing. He would always go to the communal bakery and bake bread with his grandmother. Came here, man, and kind of like with the American dream, he sold his house, used it, started the bakery here. Started with just one oven that you guys saw earlier. And uh, I think we, we both share the, the same thought that a great sandwich starts with great bread. So, we're here to show you guys exactly how we make our bread start to finish. For us, ingredients are everything. We work with a flour distributor in the Poconos. We've leased 35 acres here with a local farmer, and we're growing heritage grain, Red Fife. One of the original grains that was brought to this country, unchanged, non-GMO. It hasn't been hybrid with anything else, so it's all organic farming methods that we're using. All of our flour comes from a flour silo. That's how you get hundreds of pounds of flour into a, uh, into a bowl very quickly, uh, rather than weighing it on the scale. Our water is measured exactly for weight and temperature, and it's also filtered. Different types of starters give different types of quality to bread, and we thought very, very long and hard about what we needed to do for melt as far as how you guys are going to be using the bread in application. You're talking flour, water, sea salt. We're, we're trying to keep that, that whole local feel to what we're doing and, and pass it on to our customer. We know the truck drivers. We know the guys that own, that own the mill. We know the farmers. That translates and speaks volumes for what this bread is. Yeah. You know, and the quality's there. And that's what we're trying to accomplish. We really want to show people it's high quality stuff that we're eating. Yeah. Underneath this stainless, there's 20,000 pounds of stone hearth. Another component that makes this oven special is it's a steam injected oven. We needed a bread that was going to stand up to all the heavy ingredients that we put on. No sentence has been completed without talking about a person or talking about a set of hands. We have amazing, amazing employees. I think what makes Mediterra so special and the product so special is them. No job in Mediterra is below another. If you're the, uh, the novice that for that day, you're just putting bread in the basket or just putting bread on the board. That particular job sets the tone for what the product's going to look like going into the oven. Everybody has a sense of worth. Every single person from start to finish has something to do with yeah. this bread. Every stage along the way is hugely important to what this end result is going to be. We consider Cleveland home, even though we're from Pittsburgh. We were born and raised, you know, in Youngstown. We love the Indians, we love the Browns, so Cleveland's always been our home. And we wanted to be a part of that scene, and we knew one of the things we had to do was showcase our bread, and we, we first did that at the West Side Market. Where the bread comes from, to us, as a gourmet grilled cheese restaurant, is hugely important. You can't lose touch with who you are. It's the one thing that, that my dad has always instilled with us. Our philosophy towards food has always been big, bold flavors. If I had to sum it up in one word, it would probably be crazy. If it says on the menu, you're going to taste it. Roasted garlic, onion, rosemary, every flavor profile you can think of. 
That's going to smack you over the face. We've never picked up any publication and said, what's the trend? Let's follow the trend this week. Instead, we set the trend. The recipes have definitely evolved. What we've done is we've taken more of a precise, scientific approach to our recipes where instead of doing volume measurement with all of our recipes, we've converted everything to weight. So we've taken more of a baker's approach. The quality and consistency of all of our recipes and all of our food is hugely important. What that does for us is it gives us consistency so that we can write a recipe for taste, appearance, texture, um, all those things. Our core recipes are built that way. We want to make sure that our guests can get the same thing whether they come in today, they come back next week, next month, next year. We want that product to be exactly the same. We take that philosophy a step further and go to our stores, so our line cooks, our kitchen managers, our chefs that work in the store. We want to think outside the box. There's really nobody else in the country, in the world, doing exactly what we're doing at Melt Bar and Grilled.